filming. Okay guys, so you've heard all about the like, Read and the Library over the last few months. We finally get to see it. This whole thing opens on Tuesday. We have a bit of a tour of the new Harry Furhurst study facility. It's just around here. And this is the entrance to the light to the Harry Fairhouse. This will be opened up when you get here on Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock. <laughs> uh, but this is the one way through the new Harry Fairhouse study space. Brilliant. Okay, so let's go through to the first IT classroom. In total, there's something like 550 new study spaces in this building, including a couple of hundred of PC clients. They're up to date, new, and these are some of the most comfortable seats we have in the university. Who's going to demonstrate? I want to sit down. <laughs> it's amazing! In addition to the seats and the laptops, we also have two fully functioning printers. Um, they're the new styles, so hopefully they'll print nice and quickly. So those who have got project dissertations, essays and the rest of it to get rid of, use these. They'll get it through for you pretty quick. It's lots of PCs. <laughs> cool stuff. Right. Awesome. Notice the ventilation up top. That keeps the place nice and cool all the time. They've literally opened this place up as early as they can. So a couple of things back there and just through here that aren't quite ready yet. That doesn't matter. All the main study space areas are. Up. And you'll see a few bits and pieces coming online as the term progresses. Let's pop up there. Come on. Okay. So this is floor one. Yeah, floor one. Um, as you can see, firstly, the here and here can be two seminar rooms, I think, through here. Three seminar rooms, but hopefully during exam times, these should be quiet study spaces. So. When you're just before that final, so that final exam, there are going to be a load of chairs and desks in here, and this will be completely silent. So if you really knuckle down your work, this will be the place to be. It's and nice, ambient. Uh, there's some um, power points coming up through the floor as well, so you don't have to sit around the edges. There's power all the way through the entire place. Absolutely. And there's some nice uh, stained glass uh, patterns from Hesington Hall, I've been yeah. told. Yeah. There you go. And afterwards, like, in the middle of it, you're breaking out, you know, have a relaxation around here. The point of the central space is it's a really friendly space. We can just so slow and have a bit of a chat. So it's quiet study, not silent study. Let's go down here. So they're literally working up to the nail in order to get all this stuff finished. You can see a couple of the workmen just pulling off the last bits here. So this is the map of the group study spaces. And I think we've got, we'll start down here, thank you. So let's say you were working as a group, and Tim ran there and Laura there, and you were like, what am I talking about? I'm talking about you see. So you're going <laughs> to... Um, and then you've got like Tim, circle there. Wow, I'm glad I'm the first thing that comes to your you mind, Ben. Literally, and always. Laura over there. Just put that. Got maybe the courtyard. Wow. Now, obviously, I'm making rubbish and stuff up now because I have nothing to talk about. But when you're doing this, you get a group of five, six of you together. These will be, these pens will all be out just down here for you. As these board markers. So when you buy something, you can this. You can just get rid of it. And up here, you just see the very first level of views across campus. Wow. Woo, some people outside. Yeah. You can see almost all that across. Amazing. 
Let's go around and pop upstairs. Oh. Yep. All the furniture in here, like these, is movable. These things, these things, these things. The whole lot. These Maybe not these things. <laughs> Everything else is completely movable. So it means that if you've got more of you or less of you, whatever else, you can take advantage of it. On top of that, this space is not just going to be right. these tables and chairs, as over there. Also, they've got six, like, plasma screen TVs, which will link up to your laptops. So you'll be able to demonstrate between each of you what you're doing. So if you're working on kind of like PowerPoint presentations, online projects, you've got work on your laptops, you don't have to go around to a single PC. You have it right up there in front of you. There'll be six of those. They're coming early May, so watch this space. Um, and this is probably the most exciting bit of the entire place. This is the upstairs flexible working environment. And this is as flexible as any working environment gets in the university. Um, got some couches around here, you literally just sitting around, talking, working with that top. The really blur, but they've got some good hard sides. They've all got a laptop out now. Okay. If you always just sit down here, get a laptop out, and do a bit of a uh, working across. And the views just keep and getting better. More, the views are pretty impressive. So, along here, we've got a row of about 20. Um, spaces just bring your laptops to work. The four PowerPoints for every two desks. There's loads of space for your laptop, for your mobile phone, for your you know, iPad, whatever else you might have along with you. Um, on top of these ones for your, for your laptops, you've got another like 40 odd thin clients. So that's basically everything you need from a PC, like word processing, internet and stuff. But no, none of the tech, none of the tech we we'll won't get you advanced, more advanced programs. These are the laptop yeah. tables. That. It's like ickle. They're literally tiny. But there's everything you'd want on there, like honestly. Okay. Great. That is. That's where you need a laptop. Let's get Laura to model when I was one of these laptop bags. I love these laptops. And what you want? Let's get the other one. Turn around while you're on it. Soft. They're really soft, they're comfortable. And look, just oh, seeing now. Look at that, I can put that there. You've got four PowerPoints here, there, just down there. Another All over the there, stuff. over there. You've got loads of PowerPoints if you need to charge up your laptop. And you can still, you know, if you like working with a mouse or anything, you've still got space to actually have that down here as well. Um, Get into that, but <laughs> or you can have your notes out and just take notes so you don't have to print everything off, you can just have it here. Yay! So, and some more of these. Let's go to these ones. It is quite exciting. Now, we can't really see how exciting these are going to be until there are people in here. Basically, you can have a quiet buzz going around the place because there'll be you know, chatting, not chatting, kind of working on the laptops. These things are sound mufflers. So, you sit in here with your laptop on your desk. And these things wind out all the sound around you. So you can hear me, but I can barely hear what's going on outside. I can't hear it, which is great for me, because I hate listening to Laura. Thank you. See you later. Here's some life text suggests. Good for working together in a group, or just, you know, chucking text information down. This is a new flexible space. Once again, we're right up to the wire now, so this stuff isn't even here yet. There are going to be loads and loads of um, those little stools so already a few other potential pieces of furniture. It's going to be great. And once again, good heating ventilation away through the building. It's always going to be a temperature that you want to study on. And a good view. And to see the sun. Yeah. And the bean bags. Oh, the bean bags. Gigi has been here. The bean bags are so good. Like, you may not think we're working at Beanbag, but trust me, they're really, really comfortable. They're good for swinging your back. You can just lean back, pop your laptop, you're sorry. This is amazing. Hi. Hey. <laughs> you can go to the best, but you can't do this, you can just sleep. You can. Oh, this is also great. This is great. If you want to, you can change it around so you can go. Maybe just sit on 
You know what? I think they were fine just as they were. <laughs> now, it's back to the chair. Oh, that's like a bomb. Ah, okay. Oh. What's next? Just the space over there. This is a uh, place for postgraduate students uh, just to get away from the hubbub and have some spaces to get some really intensive study in. And some big desks, lots of PowerPoints around, and big spaces to spread out your papers for the day. Well, that's nice to say that. Look at that. Oh, more pieces. More pieces. A couple of good rooms. And that, I think. These are these, these are good for a few more for some of our uh, visiting researchers. We have to use these as uh, stay as proper rooms to stay in for the, the term or so, and that's great because obviously, like most students, can't use those. But on the other hand, you're going to have some more renowned academics working right down here while you're working on here on the laptops. More flexible spaces, some pink pads. Okay. So do you want to do any closing remarks from here? Yeah. So this space is. It's probably the best study space at York University. It definitely is the best study space university you've got. Like, it's going to be a fantastic place to come here to work and study and just, just get along. Um, it opens at 8 o'clock on Tuesday, week one of the summer term. And from then, it's going to be open, same as library opening hours, all the way through the term. Um, and then that'll feed into next year. Accessible through the link at the bottom of the library. You've got opportunity, I hope everyone will take advantage of it. Cool. Sorted.